<laughs> All right. Hey guys, it's Scissors, and this is Tall, and this is Bug. These are two of my friends, and they're going to help me out with my video today. We're in a very crowded kitchen, so we're all yeah. trying to be on camera at the same time. But today's video is about candles. And we're going to be doing hand-dipped candles instead of with molds. Um, these are a couple examples of what we did a couple days ago. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do them. And then we have a very cool variation of this, which Bug here came up with. Fun note for coloring, crayons work really well. <laughs> yeah, crayons are nice. You can use uh, professional wax dyes or whatever. Yeah, but then you're also going to need wicking. And you can click here for a link to my video on how to make candle wick. And you're also going to need wax. We're using paraffin wax because it's what we have. A lot of people prefer to use beeswax um, or soy wax because it burns cleaner and it's more natural. So what you're going to want to do is chop it up really fine. You can always just cut up the wax regular. However, shaving it works a lot better because it melts a lot faster and you don't want to sit around for two hours waiting for a block of wax. And then you're going to throw it into a double boiler. You can have an actual double boiler or you can do what we did here. I improvised and just filled a mixing bowl with tin foil and set it on top of a pot full of boiling water. Yep. Um, you're also going to want water. We have, you want a tall glass um, because you're going to dip, you're going to take your candle and you're going to dip it in the wax and then you're going to dip it into the water to cool that layer so that you are able to do it a lot faster. And as you can see, we've already used that cup because of the wax all over it. I like to tie a knot at the end of my wick so that it gathers um, a drop at the end. The drop is what you build your candle off of. But you want wax that not at 200 degrees, which is what they say in books for like pouring into molds. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna guesstimate between 100 and 150 degrees. So that it's melted, but it's not boiling. If your wax starts to boil, it's way too hot. It should be kind of, maybe a little bit soupy. We're gonna get started. We're going to be dipping into clear. Just, the trick is getting it in the wax the first time and then also getting it in the water can be complicated and kind of annoying. I tend to straighten out my candles after I do it, so I might all look sort of like green. deformed green beans. Um, scissors, however, makes really nice tapered ones. <laughs> so the trick there is to just let it sort of drip. And you just got to do that until you reach however big you want. This is also a really good way to make um, homemade birthday candles, Hanukkah candles. <laughs> And it's just a lot of fun too. Yeah. Oh. We'll be all white then. <laughs> yeah. Should have gotten that wax out of the. Yeah, forehead. probably. <laughs> it's um. called the spell candle, and it looks like an earthworm. Do you know that earthworms don't have a head or butt, and they don't have a gender? And I think you might want to see my impression of an earthworm because it's really awesome. See, see? there is an earthworm. Just a little science with your video. So what these spell candles actually are is it's a normal dip candle, like this, except before you dip the um, wick into the wax, you write your spell on a piece of paper, and then you wrap it around the wick like a little scroll. See, an easy way, actually someone taught me how to like, an easy way to wrap it around the wick. You fold it, you put the wick in the middle and then fold it in half, and then you roll it. Hold on, let me get it in the middle. Like, this. And you want to roll it really small, so you can, um, get it, like, so you can get it that it will, um, what am I trying to say? So you can get it that it will, that it will go into the wax easy, easily like the wick does. And after you've done this, then you just see, that's mine. After you've done this, then you want to dip it in the wax. And the paper tends to try to make it float, so it takes a couple times to actually get it to work. Yeah. So don't get discouraged right away. Because we are using water to cool off the wax, you do get small pockets of water both in the wax and the scroll does get wet. 
so when you're burning these candles, don't be surprised if you get little sputters. Um, it does happen. It's not going to hurt anything. It hasn't stopped the candle from burning from what we've done. Um, and yeah, it also gives off. We got like little smoke rings coming out of the. Uh, yeah, that was really scroll. cool. And. I decided to use a limey green glitter for my spell candle. Usually they're a bit taller than the scroll is. They're usually about like that tall. But um, it wouldn't really flare up, so we decided just to leave it like this so we could light it right here. So it would light the scroll right away. And um, this is my spell candle. And here's some pictures of what they end up as. Very sparkly. So we've just dipped this in the wax, and we haven't dipped in the water yet. And we've decided to personalize it a little bit. Oh, it didn't work as well as we. It's it's because it's uneven. Yeah. What we can do a is a flatter surface is probably going to be better for this. Here, let's see if we can roll it into being flat. Because it's still very malleable. Yeah. This is just fun. Because <laughs> that's part about dip can. That's probably about homemade candles. Easily customizable. Yeah. Wow, that's sparkly. Yeah. Yeah, it is, bug. So we just dipped this in the wax um, without dipping it in the water. We rolled it in the glitter here. Um, the fun part about it is it's easily customizable. Um, mm -hmm. We actually haven't done this until just now, so it's our best guess. Um, it's really your best guess at how it's going to work. We're going to try dipping it back in the wax to get a coating on it, and then building up a few more layers, and then we're probably going to be done with this candle. Okay. All right, so that's about it. Remember that this is totally open for interpretation and messing with. This is just kind of what we've been playing with today and before. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Mucho love and blessed be. Bye. Bye-bye. And don't forget, it's ugly.